You said Jesus said something about exposing the darkness so that you can fix it or you can bring it up to heal it. So <laughs> as a collective consciousness, is that why we have our current presidential campaign? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. Well, that's, that's a good question. You know, I see all these comments and commentary on, uh, on Facebook, but the, my, the one that I've enjoyed the most was when they asked uh, Deepak Chopra about the candidate Donald Trump. Uh, and Deepak, you know, saying, well... <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, Donald is doing us all a great favor, a great service, because he is reflecting our unconscious thoughts and beliefs as they are coming up, and so we need to see them. So he is doing us all a very, very great service by reflecting these back to us. And the questioner said, okay, but that, I, I don't have to vote for him uh, in the fall. And Deepak said, that is part of the collective decision that we should see what that is. Oh my, Deepak was so clear, clear as a bell, so detached, because he was simply pointing out the mirroring that's going on, which is all the Course is telling us, and the script is written, and basically everything that seems to play out in form is a motion picture of our belief system. And we're here to heal that belief system. We're here to forgive it. It's a big and it, it is, and yeah. so it's so, that's so practical. I loved Deepak's answer because he didn't uh, try to to lean for or against. And I think it was Descartes who said years ago, "It's nothing is good or bad, but thinking that makes it so." We've got an erroneous belief system and an erroneous system of thoughts, of judgments, positive judgments and negative judgments that are all part of this dualistic system that's covering over our light of truth. So it's actually, if we take that mirroring principle and we take it out to what seems to be the political arena, it seems to involve a big scale. And that can seem to bring up a lot of emotions too, like, oh no, in terms of the size. But remember the first principle is there's no order of difficulty in miracles. One is not bigger, larger, harder than another. So that's my take on things, and that's the life of, of joy and mysticism is, again, being in that, that flow of all things work together for good. There are no exceptions except in ego's judgment. That thing, uh, let all things be exactly as they are. That's another beautiful lesson from the Course. And that's the direction that we're, we're being called to. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.